All beings have already lived through all contrasting experiences. Yet some do not know this. They have forgotten and have not yet moved into full remembering. You do not have to create the opposite of who you are and what you choose in order to experience it. You merely need to observe that it has already been created elsewhere. You need only remember that it exists. This is the knowledge of the fruit of the tree of good and evil, which was not a curse, not original sin, but original blessing. And to remember that it exists, to remember that you have experienced it all before, everything that is in physical form, all you have to do is look up. Look to the stars, look to the heavens, observe the contextual field, increase your observational skills, see what is so, and then do what works. When you look up, you see the stars as they were hundreds, thousands, millions of light years ago. What you are seeing is not actually there. You are seeing what was there. You are seeing the past, and it is a past in which you participated. You were there experiencing those things, doing those things. You are also right now living lives in what in earth time would be your future. It is the difference between your many selves that allows you to experience discrete identities and moments in time. Thus, the past that you remember and the future would see is the now that simply is. You are always seeing what by your terms you would define as the past, even when you are looking at what is right in front of you. It is impossible to see the present. The present happens, then turns into a burst of light formed by energy dispersing, and that light reaches your receptors, your eyes, and it takes time to do that. All the while that light is reaching you, life is going on, moving forward. The next event is happening while the light from the last event is reaching you. The energy burst reaches your eyes. Your receptors send that signal to your brain, which interprets the data and tells you what you are seeing. Yet that is not what is now in front of you. It is what you think you are seeing. That is what you are thinking about what you have seen. Telling yourself what it is and deciding what you are going to call it. While what is happening now is preceding your process and awaiting it. To put it simply, I am always one step ahead of you. The more distance you place between yourself and the physical location of any event, the further into the past that event recedes. Place yourself a few light years back and what you were looking at happened a very long time ago. Yet it did not happen long ago. It is merely physical distance which has created the illusion of time and allowed you to experience yourself as being both here now all the while you are being there then. One day you will see that what you call time and space are the same thing. Then you will see that everything is happening right here, right now. When you understand what I have told you, you will understand that nothing you see is real. You are seeing the image of what was once an event. Yet even that image, that energy burst, is something you are interpreting. Your personal interpretation of that image is called your image in nation. And you can use your imagination to create anything because, and here is the greatest secret of all, your imagination works both ways. You not only interpret energy, you create it. Imagination is a function of your mind, which is one third of your three part being. In your mind, you image something and it begins to take physical form. The longer you image it and the more of you who image it, the more physical that form becomes until the increasing energy you have given it literally bursts into light, flashing an image of itself into what you call your reality. You then see the image and once again decide what it is. Thus the cycle continues. This is what I have called the process. This is what you are. You are this process. This is what God is. God is this process. This is what is meant by you are both the creator and the created. You are applying this to your daily life. You cannot help but apply it. This is what is happening. The only question will be whether you apply it consciously or unconsciously, whether you are at the effect of the process or at the cause of it. In everything, be cause. 
Be the cause of your experience, not at the effect of it. Armed with this knowledge, you can change your life and you can change your world. And this is the truth I have come to share with all of you. Remember, we are all one. There is enough and there is nothing we have to do. If you decided we are all one, you would cease treating each other the way you do. If you decided there's enough, you would share everything with everyone. If you decided there's nothing we have to do, you would stop trying to use doing this to solve your problems, but rather move to and come from a state of being which would cause your experiences of these problems to disappear and the conditions themselves to thus evaporate. There's nothing I have to have. There's nothing I have to do. There's nothing I have to be except exactly what I'm being right now. There's nothing I have to have. There's nothing I have to do. There's nothing I have to be except exactly what I'm being right now. There's nothing I have to have. There's nothing I have to do. There's nothing I have to be except exactly what I'm being right now. There is nothing I have to have. Nothing I have to do. There's nothing I have to be except exactly what I'm being right now. Come from happiness and you will do the things that come from being happy. Come from wisdom and you will do the things that come from being wise. Come from love and you will do the things that come from being love. Everything changes. Everything turns around when you come from being rather than seeking to be. You cannot do your way to being. Whether you are trying to be happy, be wise, be love, or be God, you cannot get there by doing. And yet it is true that you will be doing wonderful things once you get there. Here is the divine dichotomy. The way to get there is to be there. Just be where you choose to get. It's that simple. There's nothing you have to do. You want to be happy, then be happy. You want to be wise, be wise. You want to be love, be love. That is who you are in any event. You are my beloved. If that is what you see, that is what you will create. Once you were lost, but now you are found. You were blind, but now you see. And this has been an amazing grace. You have sometimes been apart from me in your heart. But now we are whole again. And we can be forevermore. For what you have joined together, no one can put asunder but you. Remember this, you are always a part because you are never a part. You are always a part of God because you are never apart from God. This is the truth of your being. We are whole. So now you know the whole truth. This truth has been food for the hungry soul. Take and eat it. The world has thirsted for this joy. Take and drink of it. Do this in remembrance of me, for truth is the body and joy is the blood of God, who is love. Truth, joy, and love. These three are interchangeable. One leads to the other, and it matters not in which order they appear. Truth, love, and joy. All lead to me. All are me, as with life itself, it comes full circle. You have been given truth. You have been given joy. You have been given love. You have been given the answers to the largest mysteries of life. There is nothing now but one question remaining. It is the question with which we began. The question is not to whom do I talk, but who listens. And here is my message the message I would seek to leave with the world. My children who art in heaven, hallowed is your name. Your kingdom is come and your will is done on earth as it is in heaven. You are given this day your daily bread and you are forgiven your debts and your trespasses exactly to the degree that you have forgiven those who trespass against you. 
lead yourself not into temptation, but deliver yourself from the evils you have created. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go now and change your world. Go now and be your highest self. You understand now all that you need to understand. You know now all that you need to know. You are now all that you need to be. You were never anything less. You simply did not remember this. Now you remember. Seek to carry this remembrance with you always. Seek to share it with all those whose lives you touch. For yours is a destiny grander than you might ever have imagined. You have come to the room to heal the room. You have come to the space to heal the space. There is no other reason for you to be here. And know this. I love you. My love is always yours, both now and forevermore. I am with you always, always. Thank you. Thank you. And you, my wonderful creature, thank you. For you have given God a voice again and a place in your heart. And that is all either of us have ever really wanted. We are together again and it is very good. 